The Maps and Doors Content Management System, referred to as the CMS, is the platform used to manage your map and corresponding data. At the highest level is a solution, the container for all your data. In some cases, you may have more than one solution. Within a solution is one or more venues. A venue contains one building or a set of buildings that are close enough geographically to be perceived as a group. As an example, a university may have one venue per campus with multiple buildings in each venue. All buildings contain one or more floors and on each floor you'll find locations. A location can be one of three things, a room, point of interest, or an area. A room has a geometry and is generated from your floor plans when the map is first digitized. Meeting rooms, lobbies, and restrooms are all examples of a room. A point of interest is a point on the map that can be added and moved in the CMS. POIs are locations that are not available in floor plan drawings, such as food trucks, temporary event structures, or coffee machines. An area has a geometry, just like a room, but is usually considered an overlay to highlight a logical area, such as an office-related neighborhood or a VIP zone at a stadium. It can also be used to display temporary structures, such as event booths and the like. All locations are associated with a location type and inherit the location type's metadata, such as restrictions and display rules. Think of a location type as a behind-the-scenes group of locations that share similar attributes. Examples of location types include elevators, offices, and storage rooms. A location may optionally be associated with one or more categories. Categories are used for browsing important locations or amenities in your application. Categories can be more specific than location types, such as identifying types of food and beverage, be it a barbecue food truck, or a sushi stand. The filter bar is used to narrow down search results on the map and in the list view. You can filter on venue, which will change the map to the corresponding venue, building, and floor. The floor filter is only available when a single building is selected. You can also filter on display options, showing POIs, areas, and or rooms, location types, categories, and app user roles. You can also type in the search bar against a location's name, location ID, alias, or external ID. The filtered results will populate on the map and in the list view. When working in the list view, clicking the Show on Map button next to a location will take you to its physical location on the map. After using the filter bar to narrow down search results, you can click on one or more locations in the list view to perform a bulk edit. You can also select the checkbox at the top to select all filtered results. Clicking Edit allows you to bulk update location attributes such as location type, searchability, categories, aliases, and more. The toolbar is used to add POIs and areas, as well as show and modify the route network. The Add POI button creates a point of interest where you click on the map and then opens the Location Details pane for you to name the POI and set attributes. The Add Area button creates an area as you click to create corners of a polygon and then opens the Location Details pane for you to name the area and set the attributes. The Show Network button toggles the route network on and off so you can see the walkable areas within and throughout your facility. The Add Barrier Route Element button creates a route barrier where you add it on the map. Route barriers include only allowing certain app user roles to use that route, closing the route, adding a delay to the route, or making the route one-way only. You can also add restrictions to doors by clicking on the door in the route network. In many cases, adding restrictions here is preferable to adding barriers to the route network itself. The Reload Route Network button reloads the route network after you've made route restrictions. This allows you to make many route changes at one time and reload the network when you're ready to see all the changes you've applied. The plus and minus signs adjust the zoom level. Values range from zoom 15 to zoom 22. To manage location types, go to Solution Details and Types. All locations are associated with one location type 
and inherit that location type's metadata, such as restrictions and display rules. A base set of location types are defined when your map is first digitized, and you can create new ones or edit existing types. You can edit the name and add restrictions. Restrictions added here will be inherited by all locations of that type. Click the display rule icon to control how locations of this type appear in your app. You can control general, icon, label, and polygon visibility. The lock next to each item shows you which properties are inheriting from the default settings in the main display rule and what is overridden for this specific type. Hovering over the info icon next to each item explains its purpose. Icon and label visibility are controlled independently and a max width can be set for labels. Please note that your application code must use display rules, not hard-coded overrides, for style changes such as the location, stroke, and fill color to appear on the map. The map section is the main navigation of the CMS and includes the filter bar at the top, toolbar at the bottom, and floor selector on the right. The Solution Details section is where you manage things like location types, categories, and app settings. App Settings is where you will create app user roles, which are used to create a profile-based map experience, manage your API keys, and set other kinds of integration configurations. Clicking on the gear icon allows you to manage users and download CMS audit logs. Categories are used for browsing important locations or amenities in your application. To create a category, click on Categories in Solution Details and then New Category. Supply the category name for each supported language and save. To apply the category to your locations, go to the Map section, use the filter bar to narrow down your search, and either use the Map or List view to add the category to applicable locations. To activate the category, go to Solution Details, App Settings, and scroll down. Click the category name, check the Show in App box, set an icon, and save the configuration. For more in-depth CMS info, please visit our documentation site, which can be accessed by clicking on your avatar. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.